Alright, today we're going to be hacking a Panasonic Lumix SZ9. It's a 16.1 megapixel camera and it has the ability to do um, full HD video 1080p. Uh, so we're going to be hacking into it for that also. I'm going to make this uh, camera a trail camera for daytime video and nighttime still pictures with a slate flash. All right, so to get started, we need to remove all of the uh, screws on the outside of the camera. There's two on the uh, right hand side here. There's two on the bottom next to the tripod mounting hole and two on the uh, left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and get those screws out and then we'll take our camera apart. Alright, so now that I've got all the screws out of the uh, perimeter of the camera, um, I just want to let you know that uh, you do need to keep these screws in order uh, because all of them are going to be different sizes. The uh, two on this right side are the same size. The two on the bottom next to the tripod mounting hole are the same, but they're a little bit longer screw than the ones we removed on the uh, right hand side. And the two on the left hand side are really, really short screws. So just keep all those um, in order so you know where they go back when you put your camera back together. All right, now that we've got our screws out, we're going to separate the camera halves and uh, just start somewhere along the bottom and uh, start trying to get that back cover to separate. And then just work your way up and then work it loose from the back and just remove that back cover, set it to the side. Now to get your front cover off, you notice on the uh, left-hand side, it's got... Uh, the two tabs here where the screw holes are at and you'll need to kind of gently lift up on those little tabs to get them to come over the mounting screw hole that that LCD is sitting on and that'll help to disengage that and then you can kind of work your front cover off and take that off and get it out of your way now on the back we're going to need to uh, remove our menu button board here and to do that you can just kind of get right up under the lower right hand corner and gently lift that up and work it loose from the little connector that it plugs into remove our menu board now we're going to remove our lcd screen so on this left side just lift up this whole metal bracket and now we can rotate that over and disengage the LCD ribbon. Just lift up on the latch here, being careful not to break it. So we can disengage our ribbon, slide that out, take our LCD screen off and get it out of the way. Now we can uh, take our pop top power board, board and uh, off the camera and just lift up on this corner and should be able to disengage it from the uh, socket that it was on and now we have access to our power and shutter board that we're going to be hacking into but before we can get to our hack points we're going to need to remove this board from the uh, top trim piece and uh, first thing we need to do is go ahead and discharge our capacitor so we'll be sure that we don't short anything out Alright, in order to discharge the capacitor on this camera, there's a couple different places you can do that. Um, if you'll look right here on the uh, board, you'll see two square um, bare copper spots. And you can uh, use those as your contact points to discharge the capacitor. Um, or you can use this bare copper spot and this solder pad. Or you can use that solder pad and the base of the uh, capacitor where this little wire is any of those will work uh, just want to make sure we drain the voltage off that capacitor so when we start taking this board loose and doing our um, hack on the camera or on this power board that we don't short anything out all right so now that I've, I've already drained the capacitor on this one so i know it's okay now i'm also going to be hacking this camera uh, for audio uh, so I can have that with my video and um, the microphone ribbon connects right here so go ahead and uh, lift up the latch 
on there for that ribbon. And now we can remove the uh, screws that are holding this board on. There's one over here by the uh, external battery or by your battery contacts and we'll be soldering to the base of those for our uh, external power. And I'll go ahead and show those hack locations to you. The uh, outer right hand pin is going to be your external negative wire location and the one to the far right, uh, far left, excuse me, is going to be your external positive wire location. So you can solder your external wires on right at the base of those against that green board and uh, that'll work great for you right there. So let's go ahead and remove the two screws that are holding this board on. One right here by the battery contacts. And then there's one over by the capacitor. And go ahead and get our board unclipped. Just there's a, there's a black plastic clip here and two on the other side. So we'll disengage those. And this little plastic piece over this AF illuminator lamp is gonna want to come out of there. So just hang on to that so you can reinstall it later. But anyway, you get that clip loose here and then we can take our top trim piece off. If you flip the board over, you notice this camera has two microphones. All right, with the board in this orientation, this is our power button here. And our solder location that we need is going to be the top right hand corner. That will uh, be your power. And then the shutter switch, which is here, we're going to need to solder to this uh, corner right here next to the zoom switch. And that will give us our shutter. And then for video, which is the uh, button here, we're going to solder to the uh, bottom right. And you could solder to the top right. Either one of those will be fine, but I'm going to probably solder mine on to the bottom right. And uh, the external battery negative can be used as the common for um, power, shutter, and for video on this camera. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get my wire soldered on for my hack and uh, then come back. All right, before I go ahead and do my hack, I just want to show you about the external microphones on this camera. And uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, you could solder your microphone wires to the little pins that are on this block where that microphone ribbon plugged in. And uh, if you want to attempt to do it that way, the uh, far right hand pin would be uh, for external mic positive and then the next pin to the left would be external mic negative. Uh, the two other pins to the left hand side would uh, be for the left hand mic since this camera has uh, dual mics on it and uh, starting from the right the third pin to the left would be uh, external mic positive and then the last one to the left would be your external mic negative. Um, it's going to be really difficult to solder to those pins to keep from bridging those together. So um, probably the better option would be to solder directly to the uh, internal microphones. And then, of course, we would have to plug this ribbon back into that block for um, our connection to the camera. But in order to solder to the microphones, you got little rubber boots over them so you could uh, remove one of the boots from one of the mics and where that ribbon solders on to the microphone you'll notice that uh, the ribbon is actually marked for positive and negative and um, the way I have it sitting here um, the solder location to the right hand side is positive and then the one to the left is negative so you could uh, solder your wires directly to that be very careful that you don't use a lot of heat here. You know, you may want to, I'm sure you're going to need to pre tin your wires and uh, possibly use just a little bit of solder paste or soldering flux at these solder locations. 
and keep your wire, exposed wire, very, very short and uh, solder directly to these solder spots. And uh, of course, if you wanted to, you could have dual mics outside your build and uh, solder to the other microphone as well. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and show you how you can get your audio on this camera to go with your daytime videos. All right, so at this point, I've got all my hack wire soldered on, and um, what I did was soldered wires on for both the left and the right microphone because the uh, camera that I, the customer that I'm doing this camera for wanted to have uh, dual mics uh, externally. So I've got that done. But what I wanted to show you at this point was uh, what I did to the main board so I could uh, run my external wires straight back out of this battery compartment and then I can run them down the uh, back side of the main board and I'm going to exit all my wires out the tripod manning hole which I'll be clearing out in just a little bit but um, you'll notice right in this area and in this area I've kind of trimmed that out a little bit extra um, there was recesses there already but on the uh, plastic part it was pretty well flush across especially on this side and just to give a little relief for the external battery wires I trimmed out a little bit more of that plastic and also a little bit of the main board on the back and uh, you can do that as long as you don't go really too deep in there just enough so when you put your camera back together uh, or when you install that power board back on here that um, it doesn't put a lot of pressure on your external wires to cut into them or uh, do any damage to them so I just want to point that out to you alright in order to run my wires out of the camera what I've done is uh, remove my lens assembly and um, I drilled out the tripod mounting hole and then I took a uh, hacksaw blade and just on the left side of where this uh, screw would hold the back cover on I cut out a little area there maybe uh, 3 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch uh, so I could uh, get down into that tripod mounting hole and then once I put my shutter assembly back in I can uh, run all my wires down and uh, then tuck them into this uh, tripod mounting hole and I have them exiting the camera so uh, I just, uh, just want to show you how I'm going to do that uh, of course you can do yours any way you want to but for me I think this is going to be my best option here alright now I have my camera hack completed and I want to check it so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, check the voltage at my external wires to make sure that my battery contacts are connected properly and I'm getting a good reading there and I am reading 4.15 at my external, so I know those are good. All right, now to check the hack on my camera, I take my power wire and my common, which is my battery negative, and my camera powers up. All right, and my shutter wire and my common. And I'll take a picture. We'll do that once more. All right. And now for video, take my video wire and my common wire. And we're now recording a video clip. Test those once again. And video is stopped. And common and power. And our camera powers off. Alright guys, that's the hack on the Panasonic SZ9. Uh, I think it's going to make a really nice trail camera for doing uh, daytime video and nighttime still pictures. Um, like I said, you could just do this camera for still photos if you wanted to. Um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.